Korean 2 Lesson 13 Lecture. 저는 이제 스물다섯이 돼요. I'm now becoming 25 years old. Lesson 13, Grammar Number 1. Talking about one's age. Um, you express most of the times um, one's age with uh, native Korean uh, numbers. You can ask somebody who is younger than you or equal um, what their age is by saying 몇 살이에요? Straightforward 몇 is a question word for number uh, or quantity um, and they will answer in native Korean number and 살이에요. 몇 살이에요? 15살이에요. salieo. Uh, for somebody who is uh, younger or equal, if it's somebody is equal, um, that somebody you're, uh, you know, pretty casual with. Asking somebody equal, but indirect and formal, because age is a, a sensitive thing, um, you might want to use 나이가 어떻게 되세요? So it's a combination of 어떻게 되세요, which is a um, honorific form, very formal, uh, with 나이 instead of 연세. Uh, 나이 is just age. Um, honorific counterpart of that noun is 연세. And um, so it, it, because the um, honorific is used for the verb, but not the noun, uh, it's still formal enough. Um, it is, uh, you know, it's polite enough. Uh, 나이가 어떻게 되세요? 스물일곱 살이에요. Um, and this is when you are still getting to know that person, that your acquaintances. But, you know, age, that has to be kind of um, exchanged right away from the get-go when people start socializing uh, in Korean society because, um, you know, that's how uh, you determine if the speech level with them, right? Um, if you first meet um, and you don't know their age, uh, you cannot decide at the person's age based on the way they look. Uh, so you you approach somebody who looks like your somebody around your age, and if you find out they're older than you, then you have to use honor expects with them and they can lower their speech. Or if you find out that you're the same age or around the same age, you can uh, mutually decide whether, um, you know, you drop the speech, you drop the yo, you propose um, to uh, speak in plain or 반말. So asking age with somebody who is definitely older, senior, use uh, 연세 instead of 나이. 연세가 어떻게 되세요? That's how you ask uh, somebody who is usually much older, um, you know, what their age is. Um, uh, the expression for asking information about um, somebody 어떻게 되세요 is in place and the noun for uh, 나이, age, is uh, replaced with the honorific 연세, 78살이에요, okay? So, you know, when you're just talking about uh, age as we do in uh, English, like uh, he or she is like, you know, 20, uh, instead of 20 years old, or he or she is five. Um, we do the same thing in Korean. You can drop the um, counter. 누나가 스물아홉이에요. 저희 고모는 쉰셋이세요. So 고모 is on, on your father's side of the family. Okay. Um, you know, and just make sure that if it is um, somebody who's older, you use 이세요 uh, instead of 이에요. Because you were saying, as for um, my aunt, she is 53. As for my sister, she is 29. Uh, so you're still talking about your, um, you're talking about that person. Uh, about their age, but you're talking about that person. As for uh, my older sister, she's 29. As for my uh, aunt, she is 53. Um, so number one, um, 
the person who's speaking is male or female? Male, right? Because he says Nunaga. My older sister is, he refers to his older sister as Duna, so we know that person is male. So um, now that I just told you, um, mostly in everyday conversation, when we're talking about age, where you're asking about the person's age and you are stating what your age is, you use native Korean number with the uh, counters high. By the way, just to remind you again, if somebody's one year old, uh, you say, 한살 이세요, 두살. 한살이에요, 두살이에요, 세살이에요, 네살이에요. Because it is still a counter, um, you know, 하나, 둘, 셋, 넷, they, hana becomes contracted, uh, 둘, 셋, 넷 loses the final consonant, and uh, same thing with 20, 스무살이에요, 스무살이에요, I'm 20. Um, there is a way to tell age with a uh, Sino-Korean number, and you use the counter 세. You can do this uh, in different contexts, especially if it's somebody a lot older. I would say above 50. 큰아버지가 지금 65세세요. Okay. Uh, 큰아버지 is your uh, uncle uh, on your father's side. Literally, he's your big father. Uh, when he marries, you call him 큰아버지. Okay. Um, so my uncle... My uh, father's older brother is 65. Instead of 예순 다섯 살 이세요, you can say 65 세세요. 저희 할아버지가 올해, this year, um, 83 되세요. He becomes 80 this year. Okay. Yeah. Once the person uh, becomes a lot older, you know, we have the after 99, we have to use Sino-Korean number, right? So we're kind of starting early. Um, so you can use Sino-Korean number with se, uh to tell one's age, uh, especially when they are uh, senior. And we use uh, Sino-Korean number se, um, to indicate age when... Um, you know, in legal matters, uh, not in everyday conversation to, uh, you know, say, hey, how old are you? You know, certain uh, prohibitions and signs, um, it is um, indicated in, um, in se with sign of Korean number. Man, yol, I hope, sorry. Yo, man, 19세 미만. Man, 19세 미만, because the sign of Korean number, right? I have, see, I'm a heritage speaker. So when we talk about age, we want to use native Korean number, but uh, in legal matters such as this, uh, unless you're uh, 19 year old, younger than 19, um, then you can't enter, okay? So this is a sign that is uh, no longer valid because Ban Shipkuse used to be the old way of telling um you know age. Uh it is, you know, man shipkuse is um when you become 19 on your birthday. Okay. Used to be that Koreans they um you gain an age uh when you're already born and you gain an age every New Year's Day on January 1st. But now uh Korea has joined the international age system. Uh, in which you uh, become uh, older on your birthday, not on January 1st, okay? Uh, sale of alcohol and cigarettes uh, are prohibited to um, those under 19. Uh, we do not sell, um, selling um, sales of uh, alcohol and cigarettes uh, forbidden to those um, younger than 19. Yeah, this is there, it's, it's very, I think it was just last year they changed this. Um, uh, you know, this is Shakira. She was born February 2nd, 1977. How do we, uh, well, in Korean, it would be 1977년 macro micro, 
uh, E월 1일, and her quinceanera then would be 15 years uh, later, um, 1992년 2월 1일, and then she would become 15. 만 15세, that's what it meant. Uh, she had 15 birthdays. Uh, you know, 15, 15 uh, years old, according to the international system. But she would be 16, uh, sweet 16, uh, according to the new Korean age system, because you are already one year old when you're born and you become older when um, you uh, have New Year's, okay? This became very confusing because it, it's a big difference if, let's say, your birthday was closer to um, January or really far away if you were born the eve before um, the New Year's because it would be uh, almost uh, a, a year gap difference, but you both become two year old after January 1st, right? So um, therein lies the confusion, and that's why Korea changed the, to um, the age system, which we are familiar with and is recognized internationally. Again, because of uh, this uh, legality changing, this term is going to this uh, you know expression is going to die away. A joking way of asking somebody's age is 떡국 몇 그릇 먹었어? Uh, because as I just told you, you uh, gain uh, a year in age on New Year's Day. And tteokguk is the traditional New Year's food. Um, yes, other you can eat tteokguk at other occasions because you eat for sure tteokguk on January 1st. Tteokguk uh, means like... Um, you know, since it is expected that you had tteokguk every each year, at least on January 1st, uh, how old are you? Okay, uh, you would lose count if you're old enough. So you use this expression to ask age uh, of somebody who is a lot younger or, you know, who is like children. Um, so this is no longer valid as of actually 19, I mean, 2024, yes. I don't, I forgot if it's 2000, it's very recent, you guys. Uh, 우리는 동갑이에요. 동갑 means the same age. Uh, you were born in the same year. So, you know, you're kind of, yeah, you can get away with it if you're 동갑. You don't have to, um, you can drop the speech. You don't have to honor the other person, even if there's a, there's months gap uh, between your birthdays. Uh, but they're twins. 저하고 형은 uh, 동갑이에요. Because they were probably born like seconds or minutes apart. And there's this term, didonga. Didonga means you guys are 12 years apart or even 24 years apart, increments of, uh, you know, 12 years apart, 24 or 36 years apart, because um, Chinese zodiac, uh, it's by year. And, um, you know, animal is designated for that year. Uh, so it means, didonga means it's the same, um, zodiac sign so uh you know unless you're born in the same year you would always be in the increments of 12 years apart okay so these two people they don't got because uh they are uh 12 years apart and um yeah it's done by uh lunar calendar so the when you say the year of the monkey it's not january 1st according to the gregorian calendar but it's according to the lunar year cycle so uh the year of the monkey for 1980 it started in february it usually does it, um lunar new year uh which is celebrated in many asian and east asian countries even some southwest uh asian countries uh, it's sometime in February. Again, then we will review native and Sino-Korean no numbers. Um, native Korean numbers, um, 하나, 둘, 셋, 넷, but one through four, when you have counters, you're gonna either contract 하나 into 한, and the final consonant disappears for 둘, 셋, 넷, becomes 
as in han sal, tu sal, se sal, ne sal. Or if you want to use a uh, Sino Korean number to indicate the age, il se, i se, sam se, sa se. Uh, yeah. You know, when you're, unless you're like over 50, don't use the se. It just, it's just uh, awkward. It doesn't seem um, natural. So then how do you express dates? Uh, very simple. Uh, instead of names for each month of the year, we just go by sign a Korean number. January is simply the first month. February is the second month. And 12, uh, de December is the, the 12th, the last month. So you um, both the, uh, unlike time, uh, telling time in which uh, hour is native Korean and the minute is, uh, Sino Korean, both are Sino Korean for dates. You have um, wal to indicate the month and il the day. Um, wal, because everything was based used in Asian culture, as I told you, uh, used to be um, based on a uh, lunar calendar. Wal actually means the month or or the, the moon and il the day. Uh, 오늘이 몇월 며칠이에요? 생일이 몇월 며칠이에요? 생신이 몇월 며칠이세요? Because you're asking the birthday of somebody who's older. 내일이 몇월 며칠이에요? 추석이 몇월 며칠이에요? Because it's a move over feast. Um, you're wondering, this is 몇월, what month? How come it's not 몇일? As in, when you're telling the date. Um, it's just spelled that way. The uh, Korean education system, they determine, you know, uh, we already know that the final consonant will flow over. And uh, that's why you pronounce it as but they thought that it sounds really like so for, because of the pronunciation, they decided to, uh, they, um, they decided to change the spelling to Biachi. It's not a misspelling, you guys. So when you're talking about date, uh, what day is Biachi? Not Biat Il as you expect it to be um, pronounced. I think it should be the other way around, my opinion. <laughs> you count the year in Sino Korean number. And if it's uh, BC, Kiwanjan, uh, after is uh, just regular year. You don't mention if it is um, BC, you say Kiwanjan, macro to micro. We say BC first. Uh, 1352 years. Okay, Kiwanjan, 1352 years. Uh, 384 years. You just, uh, we don't have to say uh, 1000, we just say 1000. 1419년, 1760년, 1842년, 1903년. Decades are expressed as 년대. The tens are 1910s are 1910년대, the 1920s are 1920년대, 30s 1930년대. 1940년대 for the 40s, uh, 50년대, 60년대, so forth. And let's go over the month. Um, remember the hours? 한시, for the o'clock, 한시, 두시, 세시, 네시. And then, normally, 다섯시, 여섯시, 일곱시, 여덟시, 아홉시, 열시. And it becomes 열, 한시, 열두시, right? One through four always is going to be contracted. Um, hana becomes han. Uh, net becomes tusene. There are some irregulars for the days of the, the month of the year, actually. Irwal, iwal, samwal, sawal, owal. And instead of yukwal, we say yuwal. Again, a lot of irregular uh, patterns in exceptions for Korean and other languages. It's because it doesn't sound right. Try saying yukwal versus yuwal. 
UI is easier, right? UI sounds awkward. That's why it became UI. The final consonant is dropped. 7월, 8월, 9월, and this is only for month, month of the year. Uh, and then 10월 instead of 10월, see? 10월 sounds, it's really tiring to uh, pronounce that, to really purse your lips. Uh, 11월, 12월. June and October are the exceptions. You just drop the final consonants and it becomes 6월, not 6월, 10월. Not Shibwal. Days of the week. Iryoil, Wariyoil, Hayoil, Suyoil, Mogyoil, Kumyoil, Toyoil. The days of the week are almost uh, universal by planet um, elements in which uh, they symbolize they are symbolized by the planet. Um, and one more thing I want to tell you is in um Latin American and uh, Asian culture, the first day of the week is Monday, uh, not Sunday. And you have the days of the week. Um, this would be uh, whatever the month and uh, 15일, 16일, 17일, so forth. Another uh, thing I want to uh, point out is you ask uh, the day of the week with uh, 무슨 요일이에요? We have 무슨, which means what kind, 어느, which means which. It was, because there's only seven days uh, in a week, it would make sense to say which day of the week, which day of the week. But we say 무슨 요일이에요? 무슨 요일이에요? 요일 means uh, day of the week, right? Because probably, um, each of the elements of the yoil are like type of, it's representing um, a type of thing uh, or a planet or element. Uh, for example, yoil is Sunday, just like uh, for English and Western culture. Yoil is moon day. Uh, Tuesday is uh, represented by fire. Um, Wednesday is shuoil, um, element of water. Literally, it means like water day. Thursday is um, wood. Friday is metal. Saturday is uh, earth, like soil. Okay. Yeah, so you would say 28일, 29일, 30일, 31일. Uh, It, this is important to note. So what is the day of the week? And uh, the the date, it's il, right? Il means the day. So, but then il also means what? Uh, one in Sino-Korean. So this is iril, iril. But you don't say il, il. You have to say iril, iril. The final consonant of our L gets carried over. So it's iril, iril, not il, il. Same thing for 11th. You don't say ship il, il, shibiril, shibiril. 21st, ishibiril, ishibiril. And 31st, samshibiril, samshibiril. Don't say samshib il, il. Okay. Uh, so in Asia, dates are expressed macro to micro, the year, month, and day. In the U.S., it's the month first, the day, followed by comma, and then the year. In Europe, it's from micro to macro, the day, the month, and then the year. No uh, punctuation. So these are some examples of macro to micro pattern in the language. That's why family name comes first, okay? Uh, it's not the last name, it's the first name, your family name, okay? The surname, and then you have the given name. Um, so, you know, when you give your name, it's family name and your given name, Yi Bong Sun. And then uh, the date, year, month, day. Address, the country, the province, city, street, and the street number come last. If you are to introduce yourself, 
um, typically in English, we say, hi, my name is, um, and you is very egalitarian. Um, you say your name, your um, 저는 uh, 언어학과에, 언어학과에 한국 프로그램에 um, 학생이에요. You, uh, LACC, um, 한국 전국 uh, 김민준이에요. So in, in English, we would say, hi, my name is Mickey Hong. Um, the Korean program director in the Department of Modern Languages and Literature at LACC. That would be the order, right? Um, the program, the uh, department, and then the school. Mac, always macro, micro, you guys. Before, when you introduce yourself, especially professionally, even before you come to your name, you have to talk about the school and then the major and then your name last. If you are going full out, it would be LACC, Modern Languages and um, Civilizations, Korean program, and then your name. So this is how you write the question, what day is it today? 오늘 몇월 며칠이에요? This is not a misspelling, it's 며칠, not 몇일, okay? Um, and July is the seventh month, so 7월 4일이에요. 7월 4일이에요. October, that's one of the two irregular months. Remember, June and October. 10월 21일이에요. I put the, uh, the pronunciation for you. 4일이에요. 4일이에요. Not 4일이에요, but 4일이에요. Uh, 10월 21일이에요. 1일이에요. We don't say 21일이에요. We don't say that. These are um, holidays that we most of us are all aware of. Valentine's Day는 언제요? 2월 14일이에요. This becomes tensified. 2월 14일이에요. 크리스마스는 언제예요? 12월 25일이에요. 12월 25일이에요. 할로윈은 언제예요? 10월 31일이에요. It's like il is repeated twice. It's not, but you're not saying 31-1. The second one is uh, the day. 10월 31일이에요. 1일이에요. 친구 생일이 언제예요? When is your friend's birthday? 4월 15일이에요. So you can write um, what today's date is. 오늘은 몇월 며칠이에요? And then you can ask um, your friend, classmate, when their birthday is by asking, 생일은 언제예요? 생일, if you're just asking a, a general question, it will be, 생일이 언제예요? 생일이 언제예요? When is your birthday? Or 생일이 몇월 며칠이에요? What month and day is your birthday? So we have uh, one of our first um, conjectural uh, grammar. 으로 오로 보여요. Uh, you use this with noun. If the noun ends in consonant, uh, 으로, otherwise 으로 보여요. 보다 is to see. 보여요 is the passive um, counterpart. So 보다 is you look at something, you watch something, you look, you see. 보여요 is it appears, it's visible. That's what it means. It appears to be this. It looks as if it's this. That's what it means. It appears, looks as if it is something else. Okay. Um, it is this thing that uh, it gives the appearance of. I just said, uh, whatever that ends in consonant, you put uro, otherwise ro, but um, it is with vowel ending or uh, riul, you just put ro poyoyo. See? Uh, riul, 
it wants to, it, it's um, given that exception, it's now in the vowel uh, club. So it looks like a bag, but it's a cake, you guys. So cake가 가방으로 보여요. The cake looks like a bag, as if it's a bag. Um, 몇 살로 보여요? 몇 살로? How old does he look like? Uh, 한 살로 보여요. Looks like he's, have, he's having his first birthday. Um, looks like he is one year old. Uh, first birthday in um, Korean uh, tradition is very important, you guys. Um, so, you know, we can say uh, three kind of momentous milestone in a person's life is it starts with your toll, your first birthday. That's your debut into the world. And then it's probably the next would be a wedding. And then um, the last would be your hang up. But now hang up used to be your 60th birthday, but most people, they uh, celebrate pick up, which is 70th birthday. Um, so first birthday is called toll, toll. And you uh, have a huge party, but there's also what's called pegil. That's what it literally means, 100 days. Before the days of um, immunization, there was, really uh high in infant mortality rate so um you know even the baby passing the first hundred day was celebrated um you know uh you know 100 is a is a huge number um so they would pass uh rice cake on on the hundredth day to like 100 different um people and Peggy is still uh celebrated but it's it's now really downplayed they would um they would just celebrate it at home with relatives friends neighbor but for your first birthday it's like a huge party please watch uh the culture video about toljabi it's a game that they play on uh baby's first his birthday the person is in um uniform Chef으로 보여요. Looks like she's a chef. Looks uh, as if she's a chef. Looks are deceiving. 여자친구로 보여요. Looks like it's his girlfriend, right? 여자친구처럼 보였어요. 처럼 uh, means appears as if, okay? Um, it, it's very similar in meeting. It looked as if it was uh, his girlfriend, okay? Udo Boyoyo is, uh, it appears to be, it looks like. That's why you have a uh, soju name, Chom Charam. It's like first time. It is a joke. Because if you, Majimak um, Charam means it's like the last time. Because uh, if you get hungover, that's what you say. 마지막처럼, you drink like it's the last time. 머리가 라면 같이 보여요. Similar expressions. It appears like ramen. His hair do looks like ramen uh, noodles. If you just say 같아요, it means it's you're making a, a equal, uh, you know, uh, comparison. It's like a person. Not that only does it appears to be, but it's like a person. You're saying it's, it looks like it's a human. Appears to be Koreans. 한국 사람 우로 보여요. 의사로 보여요 because uh, she's in um, the gown. Appears to be his girlfriend. 여자친구 ends with a vowel, so 로 just looks like a um, sibling, a younger brother. 남동생으로 보여요. Ends in a consonant, so 남동생으로 보여요. Looks like um, her younger brother. Single, remember, it ends in a RL, so single로 보여요. 싸이가 비욘세. He uh, Sai looks like his fiance.
now we have a, a similar grammar, but how do you use this with uh, verbs and, I mean, with adjectives? It appears to be a certain way, not saying it looks like something, but it appears to be certain way. It's a, a opinion about um, something uh, and it's not objective. It, you're, it, you're giving your opinion uh, saying, hey, it looks like this, it's your perspective. Use only with adjectives, not verbs. Hairstyle이 멋있어 보여요. The hairstyle looks really cool. Kim Hesu 씨는 정말 젊어 보여요. The actress Kim Hesu looks really young. Okay. 편해 보여요. Appears comfortable. He looks really comfy. 행복해 보여요. She looks happy. Something looks uh, like he's taking a test, looks challenging, it looks difficult. This is irregular, you guys. So, are all boyoyo? You put things into are all yo, um, and take out the yo. All your wo boyoyo. Looks pretty. Yepa boyoyo. And again, this is uh, an opinion, okay? When you say, it looks like as if it is, uh, it looks like this. It looks um, as if it's this. Here, it's an opinion. It appears to be, okay? Looks like he's tall. From what I observe, uh, she looks tired. How does he look? Angry, right? Ha na boyoyo. Ha na boyoyo. Pegopa boyoyo. Pierce hungry. Otoke boyoyo. You ask, how does it look? How does a person look? How does it look? Silpa boyoyo. Look sad. Temi isa boyoyo. Looks like fun, interesting. That's it for Korean 2 lesson 13.